I'm gonna do like like I showed you in the, the um, do it yourself kit mixing a little bit of black with a little bit of navy just doing it like a just like a light underwash <laughs> I love uh, hearing all the cheering outside everyone's all cheering for the rescue workers outside <sighs> I'm mixing it in the paint palette. So I'm actually mix, mixing it in. If you have like um, a plastic uh, plate or something or a glass plate, a white plate, that you can mix it and see when you're mixing it before you actually put it on the paper. That's your best bet. So, and you can use the same kind of uh, mixture on the, um, the dark parts of um, Lillard. So like the nose, for instance, a little bit. I could do a little bit of that. That's the same color. So I've just basically mixed a lot of water with um, with some black and some navy. I'm just going to kind of like fill that in. It's pretty light. Is that them? <laughs> They're barking? I can hear them. <laughs> Aww. They're so cute. I just, I'm just, that's my little birdie in the background. She likes to, uh put her uh, little commentary. <laughs> oh, how cute. Yeah. So see how I'm like, I'm doing, I'm using that same, what I'm doing in here is like, it basically was a navy and um, a little bit of black with a lot of water. So I'm kind of just filling all that section in. It's a very light wash because you don't want to like, um, go too hard too fast, you know, like I just kind of You you color all that section all where there would be black same with the um, Lillard so I'm gonna kind of go uh, touch on a little bit of her That same very light pale like almost like a gray grayish I'm just gonna cover a bit of her collar at the same time in like her nose a little bit underneath her eye and then Leave that little piece of, over the eyes, it's very important to leave that little piece of um, tan for those tricolor dogs. And it's okay, see how I just, um, I, I went on top of it? It's okay, that's what my wet paper towel is for. So I'm just going to dab it a little bit because I want to go back in there and do those little eyebrows with the, um, the tan a little bit later. But you want to just kind of like pull all the uh, color that, that, lightish it's like it's like a cool gray which which what you're working with right now I'm just gonna co cover all that section and all of the, the the two different dogs like she has more of that that grayish um or blackish uh stuff i'm not going into the eyes just yet you'll see i like i leave those and i noticed that i drew a little square on each of the eye uh balls because like you want to leave that piece white just like the paper so that's important to leave that so I'm just gonna fill and see it's pretty pale it's a pale gray remember to keep that piece of white right up the nose the the uh, white is the best you're gonna get the best white by just leaving the paper as blank don't worry about the white in the palette um, so I'm just kind of filling that up leave that that white that little nose so good it's, it's this is a dry um, paper right now I'm just going right on to her I, I hope you guys are doing it on the ground I'm um, on flat surface because it's a little bit more difficult when you're doing it upright like this because the gravity pulls the, uh, the the water down which makes it a little bit more difficult but the best way to do watercolor is to do it on flat surface so anyway so now I'm just gonna I'm filling up all this area just with the, like a that light gray just kind of filling up Elfie's uh, like all all that darkness I'm just kind of doing an under layer of all her um, the, the darkness but I'm gonna leave that little spot where she has that tan you got to leave that blank for now we're gonna go back into that in a second we're gonna do that um, with it because you got a little tan here what's that Do the um, texture later. Like I don't 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. leave though with with, with, with Elfie, leave leave a little that little piece um if you can. If you you can just take your paper towel, leave that little spot for the tan because she's got that little like the tricolor. So if you if it, just kind of put a little white wet paper towel and um like see how I left that one little piece because that's that's gonna be a tan area. You wanna leave that. And if you did paint over it, it's okay. Just take your wet paper towel and just dab. Just leave a little bit. See, and um, you can go over it and then it's kind of easy just to kind of like dab it, dab it dry. Because you want to go back over that and do that in a second. We're going to do that tan area. Usually I do um, the the tan area. It's, it's, when you're doing tricolor dogs, like I, I kind of... This, I'm just trying, I'm starting with her with doing a very light gray first, but, um, I'm going to do, so, cause that's, so that's a good under layer of all the gray. I'm going to go into the, um, the tan, which is going to be in Lillard as well. So the tan I'm going to do is going to be the tan for these spots and her as well. So both of you guys can watch. Um, I'm mixing a little bit of orange and a tiny bit of brown and I'm mixing that together um to make she's pretty red I like I like this there's a um there's two different reds in here it, and don't, don't worry which one it's like oh did I do the wrong one it's okay you mix it in your palette you see what you put on the go that's a pretty good um reddish orange that I just made right there so what I'm going to do is, see, she has a little bit of like a black eye right there. Don't worry about it. I'm going to just go back in there with a little wet paper towel. I'll just show you. If you ever make a mistake with watercolor, I always say watercolor is the most forgiving of all the the, the uh, mediums. Look how that, I just, I just wiped it away with a little bit of water on my paper towel. So I'm going to do that same orange. I'm going to go in and do those tans all on the same, the two Cavaliers. Let's go in because we gave so much time to uh, Elfie. I'm going to give some time to Lilla right now. So I'm just kind of like mixing, and that's a little orange. So I'm add just a tad of brown. Just dirty it up a little bit. And then you just kind of like go in there. I kind of turned to red. That's okay. What you got to do is just mix a little bit of brown in there. Take a yeah. little bit of brown, dirty it up. And you know what? Take your wet paper towel. If it's like it's uh, like you're not happy with the color that came out. You just kind of like dab it. See how I'm just dabbing this like that? If it's not the color that you like, and your wet paper towel will just kind of remove it. Don't like bang the paper, just dab it gently. And then and then you can kind of just keep adding some more water. If you want to dirty it up a little bit so it's not so super red, um, just kind of add a little bit of brown. And you can kind of go back and forth with the uh, the colors and you just, like, like just what we did with here, we're going to do a very light undertone of, you don't want to go like hardcore right off the bat. You just kind of like, see how it just added a lot of water? See, I just, I don't, I'm not even dipping in the, my paints anymore. I'm just literally dipping in the, uh, the, the color that I mixed in my palette. So I'm just kind of moving in there and you're going to, she's all white in here and we'll go in there with some grays and stuff, but I want to get all that that reddish orange. I'm gonna go right around her eyes. This is a, uh, it's important to, to follow where the actual, um, the dog's coloring, you know, like she is, she's got a very specific uh, coloration and she got like a little bit of reddish around one eye more than, but a little tad around the other eye and then a really light around the other ear. So I'm just gonna like, I added a lot of water. Notice I just dipped my same brush I didn't even add more color. I just added more water to my brush. Remember, water is your white. The more light you want to make something, you want to just keep, you know, adding. Hey, everybody, for watching. Thanks, everybody who's watching on Facebook Live. <laughs> so um, you just want to keep adding a little bit more to, uh, like, so what you're going to do is eventually go back in, and we're going to do, like, the darker, like, the, the darker tones underneath. But the first is all about like just getting that first under layer of wherever the orange is or the reddish color. How is uh, how is your uh, reddish color coming out? I think yours is a little yellow. It's a little yellow. Yeah. 
So if you if you feel like it's a little yellow, add a little bit more of the reddish orange. Um, mix it in the palette with a little. Just keep dipping your brush into the water, um, and yeah. add a little bit of the red, a little bit of the brown. Keep mixing it up. It's kind of like, you know, mixing like a little bit of salt, a little pepper until you get the right color. And you mix it in that, and then you and you see the thing. Like I said, if it comes out and you're like, whoa, that's too dark or that's too red, you take your little paper towel, just dab it, boop, and that's paper towel's your friend. You just dab it, and that's that'll that'll ease it up, and then you could just build back on top of it. But as long as you got like a nice little undercoating, you remember this is uh just kind of like an underlayer right now. So now, and she has that same, Lillard has that same uh, red. I'm just going to do like a little bit of undertone over this other eye. They're so cute. So we were at the, um, uh, was it Animal Love and Care? Is, that's where uh, they had a um, paint party for all the staff. And they painted a picture. Somebody at the staff painted a picture of Elfie. I don't know if they, did somebody paint a picture of Lillard? No, no one painted him, um, but the woman who painted Elfie, her daughter, really, really likes her. So it was oh, like it was so sweet. Oh, my God. What a nice thing. So you see, I'm taking that same color that I was doing on with Lillard, and I'm going to go into all the little tans of Elfie. I'm doing her little eyebrows. And um, like I said, if, if it's too yellowy, um, just add a little bit of brown, add a little bit of red, mix it up, you know, smush it in your palette so you can see what it looks like first. And then, like, if, and don't, like, freak out. If it comes out weird on the uh, painting, just just take your paper towel and dab it off. But, um, you know, when you can just build up on top of it. So now, see, so she's got these, like, cute little brown. This is, like, the, the tri-colored. She's so cute, little elfie. She looks like, um... A dog in my building, um, little Gigi. They, they're so cute, those little King Charles. They just, they're, they're the sweetest little dogs. I love them so much. Uh, so huggable. Okay, so now I'm going to go back. She's got a little bit of that, uh, a tiny bit of there, right up on there. See, I painted over that. It's okay, I'm just going to kind of go right on top of it like that. So now I want to go back up underneath here. So, um, let's see, where are we now? I want to do a little bit, oh, but she's got that little tan on her face, too. Yeah, there you go. And I want to do her nose. Go back into that same, um, that black and navy that I had mixed up before and do up her nose. And then I'm going to, I'm actually going to take that and I'm going to go and do an under layer of the eyeballs. Um, remember, always leave a, that little piece of white. Uh, that I left as a um, shine. This, the paper is going to be your as uh, white. Like you can never get the white from the, the the paint palette like you can from the the paper. The paper is the best. That'll really shine it out. So I'm like I'm adding a little bit of black because I'm going to go way into the eyes now and um, just kind of if if your brush is a little wet, you want to make it. Um, you just see how I just keep dabbing it in my paper towel. Just kind of like, just kind of, maybe I want to make it a little darker than that. I try to get the paint a little bit more gooey at this point that I have more um, control of it. So, you know, it's like, you want to get into it that it's, um, uh, it's got more pigment in it. Less water and more pigment. And I'm just going to go over those, um, like, I'm just going over that section that I left, that uh, little square for the eye. You know, there's a little, like, doggy mascara. It's, like, up above the eyes. Leave that big. And these guys have those awesome, big marble eyes. They're so sweet. Yes. I left a little piece there because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to drag that in a second. But I want, I'm, do, I'm going to the, into the pupil first. Same thing here. I'm just gonna drag that. It's like, notice that my paintbrush is not so, um, it's a little more dry. Uh, it's still wet, but it's not drippy, you know? It's not like, so I'm more control over it. Kind of like, when I say it's kind of like um, working with a magic marker. It's like, if you have a little bit, 
uh, more pigment on the brush, less water, and uh, you can kind of have more control on it. I'm just gonna like go around those those big big squares that I put for the the shine in the eye. And I'll leave those for a little bit to dry. Same thing with um and just go to do the little mouth, the little uh this little cute little mouth. And Here. you're a lot farther ahead, I think, than we are. <laughs> You guys, you take your time, you do it at your level, and if you're having any questions, please, you know, because I can't see what you guys are doing, so if you are, um, you having anything, just, like, just shout out and ask me questions about what you're doing, and, uh, if you're having any little, but, um, I'm just gonna continue on. <laughs>